Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little bunny who I've named Mrs. Bunny Cottontail. This is a fun and easy little bunny you can work up for all your springtime celebrations. And she has a little striped outfit on and a little flower on her ear. And I've added some button accents and some French knot eyes and a little tiny pom-pom cottontail. So for this project, you're going to need a 5 millimeter H crochet hook. As an option, you can use a tape measure if you want a certain height for your bunny. You'll need two buttons, one for this flower and one for the little button in the front, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, some fiber fill uh, to stuff the bunny. She's a, a squishy, kind of stuffy bunny. And um, this you can find this at your local craft store. As an alternative, you could use yarn or fabric scraps to stuff your bunny as well if, if you want to recycle. And for the yarn, I used Red Heart Super Saver. Now this bunny here, I use this lavender for the flower, and then I use the shocking pink and the spring green for her garment, and the white for the top, and just black for the eyes. And then for the um, one we're gonna make together, I have the same white. We're gonna give her a lavender flower as well. And then I have, we're gonna make for her, her garment, the second one we're gonna make, um, I'm going to use aqua for the um, one stripe and then pumpkin for the other stripe. So we're going to do just a slightly different color scheme for the bunny we'll make today. Now I just had a little bit of this dark charcoal I'm going to be using for the eyes. So whatever you have on hand, you can use black, you could use brown. You could also, if you have some other tiny buttons, you could also do um, you know, a button eye as well. So let's get started. To begin our bunny, we're going to start by making two ears, which we'll later sew onto the bunny's body, okay? So what we're going to do is grab the white yarn. Now I'm using white, you can use any color you like, but what I'm going to do is grab this purple uh, skein of yarn I have just to give us a little bit of a dark background to give us some contrast, because we're doing white on white here. So what we're going to do is put a slip knot on our hook, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook bring up the loop and tighten. So you'll need to make two ears. So we're going to make the first one. So to begin, we're going to chain four. So wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one chain, two, three, and four. In the chain farthest from the hook, we're going to join with a slip stitch to, to form a ring. So bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So you can kind of open that up a little bit if you need to. So in the center of the ring, we're going to work two single crochet. So insert the hook into the center, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops on your hook. That's one single crochet. Then we'll make another single crochet. Then we'll make a double crochet. So wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops. Then we'll work a treble crochet, wrap yarn around hook two times, insert it into the center, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook. You can kind of push everything over if you need to. Then we'll work another double crochet. You can kind of see this ear shape starting to form. And then we'll finish off our bunny ear by working two single crochet. So one and two. And then to give that a nice finished bottom, we'll work a slip stitch. So insert the hook into the center, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So what we'll do is cut the yarn and fasten off. And what we're going to do is just bring it through that loop. Now you can kind of, your bunny ear will have kind of an open look to it. And then we'll just kind of shape up the sides here to give it kind of an ear appearance. And I wove in this first tail in as I went along. You can give it a little tug and trim that off. But this other tail, we're going to leave in place. And we're going to use that tail to sew 
onto our bunny in just a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and make the next ear. We'll do the, the next ear exactly the same way and we'll rejoin in just a moment and we'll work on the body part of the bunny. Okay, I went ahead and finished the second ear. So now we have two ears and we can put those aside. And I almost forgot, let's make the uh, little flower really quick and then we'll get started on the bunny. So for the flower, what we wanna do is do the same thing. Put a slip knot on your hook, go ahead and tighten, and then chain four. One, two, three, four. So we're starting it the same way we started the ear. Then we're gonna join in the chain farthest from the hook with a slip knot, or a slip stitch rather, excuse me, uh, to make a ring. Then we're gonna hold this tail along the edge as we work, and that will weave that in as we go along. Same thing we did before. You can kind of open it. I like to open mine up to give me enough room to work my stitches. So then what we're gonna do, this is just a really simple little flower. We're going to work a double crochet and a slip stitch five times into the center of the ring, okay? So to begin, work a double crochet into the center, just like this, and then work a slip stitch into the center. Insert the hook into the center, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, so that will create our first petal. And we can kind of shape this up when we're done. Make another double crochet into the center of the ring. Now, we're gonna have a five-petaled flower. If you want a six-petaled flower, feel free to do that as well. Or if you want uh, four to make a little clover or something like that, you can do that. It's pretty easy to change. Okay, so that's our second petal. And work a double crochet. We're working on the third petal now. It's a little bit snug, so just take your time. Double crochet and then a slip stitch. Now there's a lot of stitches in the center of this ring, so if you need to push things over a bit, definitely feel free to do that. Okay, we're working on the fourth petal. Just kind of wiggle it through there. Double crochet and a slip stitch. This is a teeny tiny little flower. It couldn't go much bigger on the, on the bunny or it would have been overpowering her little ear there. Okay, so that was the fourth petal. And then here is the last petal. So work a double crochet and then a slip stitch in the center to kind of round that petal off. And then where we begin, that side right there, just work a uh, slip stitch to close the round as well. Okay, just do get in there the best you can. Okay, so then we're gonna cut the yarn and then just fasten off and tighten everything up. Now this will require a little bit of shaping to get those petals nice and flowery looking. And then that center tail, just pull that nice and tight and cut that tail, okay? So we have our little tiny flower, and again, we can just kind of shape it up a little bit. Looks almost like a star, and then that will later get a button on top. So just leave that tail intact for now, and what we'll do is, um, again, use that tail all these tails to sew them onto our bunny. Okay, so let's get started on the body next. We're going to be working our bunny from the bottom up. So we're gonna start by making a circle and then we're going to work this way and finish at the top here. So when you are considering you know, the construction of your bunny, think about the striping first. We're gonna start with the colorful part at the bottom. So whatever color you want this to be, I'm gonna be doing blue where there's green and where there's pink on this bunny, I'm gonna be using the orange. Okay, so to begin, again, the bunnies worked from the bottom up. We're going to put a slip knot on our hook and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna join in the farthest chain from the hook with a slip stitch to create this ring. Next, we're gonna hold this tail along the edge as we work, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. In the center of the ring, we're going to work 11 double crochets, and that's gonna create this base for our bunny. Okay, so work, this'll be one. So at the end, we're gonna have 12 wheel spokes, at, if you will, on our, on our base. This chain three counts as one of the double crochets. So we have our chain three, and then we have one double crochet, two double crochet, 
remember we're doing 11. Three double crochet, four double crochet, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so we have the base here. Now this tail, we'll just um, let that tail fall down now. We'll deal with that in just a moment. Count three chains up and join with a slip stitch to close the round. Just like that. So we have our, our base now. Okay, now we're not going to fasten off. We're just going to continue to the next section. So now that we've built our bottom, we're going to start building up the sides of the bunny. So then what we're going to do, um, if you go to the Fiberflux blog, and I'll provide a link to the written pattern in the informational section of this video, I have it all. Each round is color-coded. Um, but they're color coded for this particular bunny. So when you look at the photos on the blog post of the written pattern, um, you'll be looking at photos of this bunny and you can see what color to make each round. Um, and you can substitute your own colors, but it is helpful, I find, when working stripe sequences to have the written pattern also in front of you if you um, print it out and kind of check as you go along. I, I find that to be very helpful, just as a little tip. Okay, so sticking with the blue for the next round as well, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to work a single crochet in each stitch, okay? So to do that, insert it into the stitch and bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. We're just going to do this all the way around our bunny, and you'll notice that it'll start to create a side. We're just going to be working right into that. Okay, and we're just going to go all the way around. Now all the rounds are going to be repeating this round. We're just going to be switching up the colors. So we're going to work this one in blue and then we're going to switch off. Okay. Next, we're going to get our, we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round, and it's a little snug to pull it through. There we go, and I lost my loop. There's my loop, okay. So I'm bringing that loop through that loop. Okay, so now we have the base, and then I'm going to cut the yarn. Go ahead and Fasten that off. Okay, and we can kind of shape that up as needed. Next, we're going to get our orange yarn and we're going to move on to round two. Okay, so for the remainder of the bunny, we're just going to be repeating round one, the same thing where we worked a single crochet in each stitch, but we're going to be switching alternating colors for a short time and then we'll work the top part just still repeating. Uh, round one but in the white or whatever color you want to make your bunny so we're just I just inserted my hook into the stitch and pulled the new yarn through and then we're just going to tie it right on now the neat thing about these projects is this project is going to get stuffed so you don't necessarily need to weave in the ends you can leave all the ends on the inside of the piece because we're going to be closing it up and stuffing it or actually stuffing it and then closing it up so if you just want to kind of tuck all of your ends into the piece as you work like this, um, it'll actually, you know, contribute to the filling. When you go to fill the bunny, it'll be part of the filling. Okay, so reinsert your hook back into that stitch, bring up a loop, and chain one. Then we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so go ahead and just repeat round one and get that stitch, that single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
I'm going to do this round with you and then we're going to work on a few rounds and then come back. Okay, so I'm just adding the stripes. And as you add more and more stripes and build up this stripe sequence, it'll start to look really um, very much like the other bunny. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit more yarn. And we're just coming around the edge here. And your bunny, as you're making your bunny, it will look uh, slightly smaller than this one because we this one is stuffed. Okay, so we're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch and then we're just going to join with a slip stitch like we did before to close the round. It's a little snug. There we go. Okay, we're just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round and then we can cut off the orange and then we're ready to join the, um, there's my tail. It, it, you'll get a lot of tails with all these stripes. We're ready to rejoin the blue again. Okay, so I'm going to grab the blue and I'm just tucking those tails in as I work because we're, we're not going to need to weave those in at the end. Okay, so we're just going to tie the blue on and then repeat round one. Now I'm going to keep going with my stripes, but what you want to do, this was um, the first uh, bottom that we did where we did the double crochets. Then we had round one in green round two, round three, round four, round five. So you're going to do with this, with repeating round one, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. So green, pink, green, pink, green. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll rejoin in just a moment and we'll get to work on the top part of the bunny. Okay. So I went ahead and worked a total of one, two, three, four, five rounds of this single crochet alternating, you know, to create the stripe pattern. Now we're ready to switch to the white. So I'm going to grab my hook and just continue the same way. The, the rounds of single crochet, same thing we've been doing before, but just in white. So we're going to do a total of four rounds uh, with the white yarn. And then I'll show you how to decrease the top to create the bunny's rounded head shape. So we're just tying the white yarn on. And again, I just wanted to mention uh, one more time, I've been tucking all of my tails in there and that kind of doubles up as filler and it saves you a whole lot of weaving in. Okay, so I just tied the new yarn on. I'm just going to insert the hook back into that same stitch, bring up a loop, same thing we've been doing, and chain one. And then I'm just going to work a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So do four rounds of this in white of the same, same uh, repeating round one, the same thing we did at the bottom and repeated and repeated but do four rounds of white. So I'm going to go ahead and do my four rounds of white and then we'll rejoin and I'll show you how to decrease the top. Okay, so I went ahead and worked four rounds of the white. So now we have uh, what's going to be kind of the face part. Now we're ready to do the decrease. That's going to create kind of this rounded head shape. So what we're going to do without fastening off the white yarn and um, grab that. Okay, so without fastening off the white yarn, we're going to chain one. Then we're going to single two, single crochet two together in each stitch around. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this next stitch that we come to, we're going to insert the hook like this and bring up a loop. So up two loops on our hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Now wrap yarn around hook and bring it through all three loops on your hook. So we just turned two stitches into one. Okay, do the same thing in the next stitch. Insert the hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops are on the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn around the hook, bring through all three loops, just like that. Okay, so we're just going to do this all the way around until we get to where we began. That's going to create this rounded top of our bunny's head. Okay, and this will go by, this round and the next round will go by really quickly because we're decreasing. Okay, so we're just single crochet two together all the way around. Okay. 
Okay, we're coming up to the end of the round here. There we go. Okay, and then what we're going to do is join with a slip stitch to close the round. And then we can move on to the next round. Okay, so we're starting to get that cylindrical shape, the rounded top. Okay, so then we're going to do, um, we're going to repeat the next round, but we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so chain one and then just do the same thing. Single crochet two together all the way around. It's going to get really snug at the top. But we're not going to close the top yet because there's a few things we still have to do before we close the top. Whoops, I just hooked on the other stitch across from it. There we go. Okay. It's going to get really snug here, but that's okay. That's what we want. We want the, the top to be cinched. Okay, so just continue all the way around. Bring that through. Okay, so then what we're going to do is cut a tail and fasten that off. But we're not going to close the top yet. We are going to fasten off though, just so it doesn't pull apart as we're working. So it's going to be kind of lumpy looking, but you are going to have um, a little hole at the top and that is going to help us stuff the bunny. Okay, so you can just kind of shape things up a little bit. Uh, it's really going to kind of fill out once we um, put the stuffing in. Okay, Okay. so now we're ready to uh, put these little French knots on the eyes here. Okay, so I have my charcoal and actually this yarn is a little thicker than what I used here. So I'm going to pull the plies apart. This is a little tip if you're doing some kind of embroidery and you just need a, a much thinner piece. I would like to have a thinner piece for my bunny eyes. So I'm just going to pull the plies apart and they'll be a little bit curly. That's okay. I just want their, her eyes to be a little bit uh, less bulky looking. So we're just going to take these plies and just carefully pull them together. They're going to want to curl back up, but we'll just kind of carefully pull them apart. And then we'll have like this nice yarn thread that we can use. Okay. So about eight to 12 inches. You'll, I'd, you'd, it's better to have a little bit extra than too much. So go ahead and just give it a little twist and thread your tapestry needle. Now, if you have a thinner piece, that's fine. I just wanted to get mine a little bit thinner. Okay. Now I have a separate tutorial for French knots and I get much more in depth um, with, with that skill. Um, French knots are something you have to practice a lot. At least I did. I had to make many, many, many French knots before I really got the hang of it. If you feel uncomfortable making a French knot, like I mentioned before, just, just do a button or something like that, or even a little bead. You could just stitch a little bead onto there. So what we're going to do, we have just a small little tiny opening in the top. It's just enough for what we need. So what we're going to do is go into this hole. We're just going to figure out where we want our eye to be. I think I'm going to put mine right about there. Okay. So come up from the bottom like this. Just leave yourself a little tail so you have something to grab onto. And then what you're going to do is kind of hold the yarn this way. Now wrap it around the needle twice. One, two, and then right next to where you came out, but not in the same place. If you go in the same place, it'll pull the knot through. But kind of right next to it, go back down. And then you can kind of come out the top of this hole here. And if you don't like the way your French knot looks, just pull it out and simply do work it again. Sometimes you need to work a few because they tend to all have their, a mind of their own sometimes, okay? So just carefully pull it through, okay? And that'll give you a nice pretty little knot. Okay, now our yarn is already in the inside of our piece. So what we want to do is hop over to where we want the other eye. Um, try to keep it on the same single crochet row just to make sure it's um, straight. Okay, so come back in and then we're just going to lay it back down and do the same thing. Wrap the yarn around your needle two times. One, two. 
and then go in right next to where you came out. Again, not where you exactly where you went, but close to it. Okay, and then just come back right back out the top there where that bunny's top of the head is. Okay, and then just gently pull it through. And it makes like a little, uh, little like pretzel twist it, to me, it looks like. Okay, and then just gently pull. You don't want to pull too hard because um, it'll pull the knot right through. Okay, so we have the cute little eyes now on here. And what we're going to do is simply cut. And I like to use my crochet hook. We can get this needle out of the way. We won't need that for right now. And you can just kind of tuck, whoops, my blue came out. You can just kind of tuck those back in there, just like that. So everything's nice and neat. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is we're ready to um, fill our bunny. And actually, we're gonna put the ears on and then we'll fill the bunny, okay? So let's grab our ears. Now, you can make your bunny have floppy ears like this. And just kind of lay them down. You can make your bunny have kind of, I can't grab all these pieces at once. You can make your bunny have stand-up ears like our bunny over here. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna grab my needle again. And what we'll do is take one of these tails and I think what we're gonna do is make ours a floppy ear, one ear up, one ear down maybe. Actually, let's do both up. I think that what it almost looks like a, um, well, at least my ears make it look like a little mouse, <laughs> which is equally cute. Okay, so we'll put, the, we'll put both ears up. That'll be cute. Okay, so what you're gonna do is locate where you'd like the ear to be, and then just go ahead and just put a couple well-placed stitches. You don't need to do a lot and go overboard but just do a couple nice little stitches like two or three would be fine and we're gonna get all of this shaped up later and the stuffing will really really help um, make everything look nice and neat okay so just go to the back of the ear like this and what I like to do is just I like to just put a little knot and we're gonna make this knot disappear in just a moment just put a little knot and thread your needle back with that tail and then just go right into it. This is an um, easy trick for stuffed pieces. Go right in and then come out like this. And then you have your tail. And then what you do is you pull it snug and cut. And then when you shape it up, that little tail just totally disappears into the inside of the piece, okay? So we have one ear and it's really starting to look like a really cute little bunny. And I actually am glad I used the charcoal. It's a little bit softer looking. Okay, so what we're gonna do is thread the next ear and just position it. Now the neat thing about sewing is that you can just, if you don't like it, you can just pull it out and redo it, okay? So I just did like two little stitches just to get those ears on. Um, if you're making this for a child, you might want to put an extra stitch or two if they're going to be um, playing with it and kind of throwing it around. Okay, so um, what we did before, we're just going to, that, that last little uh, tail, we're just going to pull it all the way through the back of the bunny and see how it's, this is the other tail, see how it's sticking out? We're just going to pull it, trim it up snug, flush up against the bunny, and then just, you know, give it a little tap and it'll just disappear, okay? So here is our bunny. And you notice, because this is handmade, they all kind of have, and we're sewing the ears on, they all kind of have their own personality. This guy has, or lady I should say, has um, very sturdy looking ears. This bunny over here, her ear wants to flop down a little bit and that gives them their own little personality. So next what we're gonna do is you have the flower. We can just put the little flower on there, wherever you'd like it to go. And just position it where you'd like it to be. Okay, just one or two stitches again will do the job. And we're, we're going to see uh, stuff this next. Okay, I'm just doing a couple little stitches right through the middle there. 
And we're gonna put a button on this so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just as long as some petals are sticking out and we can see them, okay? So we still have our hole at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull this hole open and grab the fiber fill and we'll stuff the bunny. Okay, so we have our bunny, we have the hole at the top, I grabbed the fiber fill and we're in the home stretch. Now we already have all these tails in here, so we can, um, actually I'm gonna trim this purple and just get it out of our way. But the, the fiber fill, we're just gonna go ahead and stuff it right in there. And again, we have all those tails in there, so that's gonna act like some of our filler too. And we're just stuffing it right in. Now, a little tip when you're doing stuffed pieces like this, try not to overfill. So I like to put a little bit in like this, work it down in there, and just kind of check. Okay, I'm, I'm keeping this bottom as flat as possible so our little bunny can sit up. But just um, stuff a little bit in and check, stuff a little bit in and check because you don't want it to be overstuffed because then your bunny will look your beautiful stitches that you've worked on will look stretched out and it won't look um, nice and neat. Okay, so our bunny is stuffed and then what we're gonna do to close the bunny up, we're gonna just take that last tail and then I am just gonna go just all around this edge here. See how we just go, you can even go across, do like a crisscross and then what we're going to do is send it through the bunny like we did with the ears. Go all the way through to the back here. Pull that down a little bit. Give it a nice tug. And then cut that tail flush just like that and kind of just shape it and mold it into place. The last thing we're going to do for our bunny is to put on these buttons. And those will give it a little finishing touch. If you like the bunny as is, feel free to just keep her just like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a little blue let's see let's do a blue let's do the button here and then we'll do a little yellow button on the front so what you can do is you can either sew them on or you can hot glue them on I didn't mention hot glue at the beginning of this video but you can either sew them or hot glue them I'm gonna glue them on really quick and then we will see what our bunny looks like all finished okay so our bunny has her little buttons on there now and last but not least, we're going to do a little cotton tail, okay? So we're just gonna make the tiniest pom-pom ever. And just wanna cut about six to eight inches of yarn and put that aside. Then we're gonna take just like three fingers and just do, wrap the yarn around your finger, um, I don't know, 50 to 100 times, just so you get a nice thick bundle on your hand. This is gonna be a teeny tiny little Pom pom. So we're just going to wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. We're going to make it really small and we're going to give it a, um, a haircut so it won't be so, it won't be this big. Okay? So what we're going to do is cut the yarn and I am going to grab, I'm going to tie this, I'm going to grab some bigger scissors than these little tiny ones to trim my pom pom. So go ahead and tie that as tight as possible. Just like that. And then I have my tool bag here. I'm gonna put, grab my scissors, get my big scissors out. I like to use bigger scissors for pom-poms. Now this pom-pom, you, again, you can sew it on, you can glue it on. I'm just gonna glue mine right on so I don't need to keep these tails. If you're gonna sew it on, then hang on to these little tails, okay? So go ahead and just cut this yarn. And um, whenever you make pom-poms by hand like this, it's super fast and easy, but it makes a big mess. So just give it a very close haircut. We're gonna cut a whole lot off of here because we're making a teeny tiny little pom-pom. Now I've seen on Pinterest, I've never personally done this, but you can also make little pom-poms with a fork. So if you don't wanna have to cut all this yarn, you know, definitely try that. I've never tried that before, but it, it sounds like it could work. I think they wrap it around uh, the tines of the fork to help it hold, you know, all that yarn on while you wrap it. Okay? could also wrap it around one finger or two fingers, but I feel like I have more control if I use more fingers. Okay? So see how I'm just cutting this, I'm cutting this back very, very close to give that little tiny cotton tail that we need. So it's going to be a very fluffy pom-pom. You can kind of shape it up a little bit and see 
where all the long pieces are by rolling it around in your hand like that. So just cut it very close. I'm just working very quickly here to so I have to see the whole entire thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that on, and then we'll see how that looks. Okay, so our bunny now has a tail. So um, she is officially a bunny with a cotton tail. So she looks very, very cute, and she's ready for spring. Okay, so that is how you crochet uh, Mrs. Bunny Cottontail. I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure and subscribe um, by clicking the subscribe button to get more Fiber Flux video updates. And comment below and tell me what colors you'll be making your bunny in. Thanks so much.